hey business owners are you looking for an automation that will automate your entire lead conversations as well as appointment booking system well this video is for you in this video i'm going to show you how we built an entire voice ai agent that not only converts with all the leads but it will also qualify them and will book appointments based on your google calendar so stick to the end if you want to see how we built the solution using wapi and anitan and how it can transform your business in just a few hours all right so before we begin let me give you a very quick demo on my phone for this particular voice ai agent and this voice ai agent is running for a restaurant business so let's check it out thank you for calling restaurant name this is riley your reservation assistant how may i assist you today so i'm planning to get a reservation for uh, dinner if that works absolutely i'd be happy to assist with a dinner reservation could you please let me know how many people will be dining with you so it will be only two people me and my wife so we have our anniversary tomorrow so i'm planning a dinner date that sounds wonderful happy early anniversary to both of you what time would you like to make the reservation for tomorrow evening we have dinner slots available from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. uh so i'm planning to get a reservation for 8 p.m. if that works great choice let me check the availability for a table for 2 at 8 p.m. tomorrow please hold for just a moment um yes i'm here i've checked and we do have a table available for at am tomorrow evening shall I go ahead and confirm this reservation for you yeah absolutely that sounds good please hold on i am making booking for you all right uh to confirm your table for 2 is booked for tomorrow at 8 pm please arrive 10 minutes early we offer a wide menu to suit all tastes feel free to let us know if you need any recommendations would you like to receive a reminder via call or text before your reservation and do you have any dietary preferences or special requests you should be aware of for your anniversary um, dinner yeah no nothing 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 such nothing as such Perfect. Your reservation is all set then. Thank you for choosing restaurant name for your special occasion. If you need any further assistance or have any questions, feel free to reach out. Is there anything else I can help uh, you with today? Nothing, nothing else. Thanks so much. So as you saw, this was a call from a voice AI agent and it was able to do the entire lead lead questioning and as well as it was able to book a table for me. So you can see that we have received the table reservation on my Google Calendar. at 2:30 pm as well as 1:30 pm uh, this was all because of the voice ai agent it it judged my preferences and it booked a calendar event on my google calendar so if you want this voice ai agent let's understand how it works um now before we begin let me give you a quick intro about myself i'm prakash from small ai we are an ai automation agency and we help business create different voice agents as well as different automations that can help scale their business So let's explore this particular voice AI agent for restaurant. Now to explain the entire voice AI agent, I'm going to divide this video in two parts. One is going to be a basic overview in which I'm going to let you know all the tools and everything which is there. Just an upper base upper view and in the second part I'll dive into a deep how we built this entire voice AI agent and I will build it with you. All right, moving on. So you can see that we have this voice agent on Wapi platform and in this voice AI agent I have only defined a few things. one is the first message what is, what is going to be how is the voice agent going to greet the customer so i have simply defined the single message that okay thank you for calling wellness partners this is riley your scheduling assistant how can i help you second is the prompt now this prompt is a very special part because we are defining the entire voice ai agent using this prompt so this prompt essentially contains the inf entire information about my business and it is also know it also knows which function to call so that it is able to make the booking if you scroll down you have all the details i, I won't dive i won't dive into it right now but just to give an example i have added a function called function tool so it always uses this function tool to initialize a booking when the guest agrees all right so you can see that we have this function now let's see what is happening inside this particular tool so in this tool i have added this function tool if i go over the tool section of wapi you can see that we have this function tool function now this function is uh, we ha i have given a basic description that we have to trigger it as soon as we have the details date email and name and uh, later on we have sent out a server url so essentially what is happening is it is as soon as the function as soon as the wapi agent calls this function it will then send a web call to this particular url and this url is then linked to my anitan server all right coming back to the next part of this particular uh, voice agent which is going to be the anitan which is going to be the main brain behind it so this is going to make sure that we have we are available at that time and we are able to create a calendar event as well 
So I'm sending a webhook and inside this webhook I have all the details. I have the entire transcript which has happened with the voice agent. You can see that we have the entire transcript right here. Now I'm combining the entire transcript here and I'm sending this to the AI agent. I'm giving out two things, the entire message, the entire transcript, and then I'm defining it that you have to figure out the time, you have to figure out the dates, and you have to figure out how many people will be visiting. Based on this, you have to check the availability in the calendar. If my calendar is empty at that particular point, you are good to go. And if it is available, you should also create an event for the particular user. So it then creates a Google event using this particular tool. and. Finally, it responds to the webhook that, okay, we were able to finalize the booking and here is the details. Now, this is how the entire voice agent is working, just an upper layer. Now, if you're able to understand it till now, let's dive into creating this voice AI agent. All right, I have my specs on and let's try to build this entire voice AI agent in just five minutes. I'm simply going to head over to my WAPI dashboard and I'm going to click on create assistant. I'm going to then choose assistant name, which is, can be a restaurant uh, voice AI agent and click on this blank template and just create assistant. As soon as that is there, I need to fill out two things. One is the first message and then we have system prompt. Um, I'm gonna copy it from the previous assistant so that uh, it doesn't take much time. You can see that the first message is very clear. I'll go through the entire prompt now so that you understand what is going on in the entire prompt. Uh, I'll just copy paste the previous one and let's see the entire prompt. So you can see I'm giving an identity. I'm saying you are Riley, the friend and efficient voice reservation assistant for a popular dining venue. I've given out the identity, then I'm simply telling the voice and persona it should f uh, follow. So it's simply saying warm, po uh, warm, polite, professional tone. You should be patient, encourage, encouraging, especially with unsure or first time guest. Always sound organized, attentive and confident. Great, so we have all these things just to define the voice and persona. Next is conversation flow. Comes out to as introduction, how should we introduce us? And then we have booking process, um, how are we going to book the entire thing? So we have, are you, make, are you looking to make a reservation for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner? Then I'm giving out the entire timeline for brunch, lunch, and dinner so that, we are, so that we are able to segregate the bookings. Next, we have party size. How many people will be dining with you? So we have this question. And next, final question is going to be date and time selection. As soon as that is done, I am uh, I'm simply giving out the final confirmation that for two people, I have created a table reservation on this date at this time. Would that work for you? If I say, if the user says yes, then it moves forward. But if it is not able to do it, if it is unable, unable to, if it is un unable to do anything else, uh, it will simply give out this particular response, which says, I don't see availability that matches your request. Would you be open to a different time or day within our opening hours? So, so that we are able to handle all the, all the errors. Great. Uh, moving on, we have confirm reservation and we have the special request questions. So it's a very detailed flow for particular business. If you have a different type of business, well, obviously the entire prompt is going to change, but we can help you out with that. So not an issue. Later, we have the confirmation wrap up as soon as we have that. I'm also saying that uh, I think for closing, we have this. We have the response guidelines. Uh, this one thing which I wanted to show you. Yeah, so you can see that I'm saying always use function tool to finalize bookings once date, time, party size are agreed upon. As soon as this is happening, the entire voice AI agent should call this particular function to make sure that it is hitting the entire and attend workflow. All right, so I've defined it here. I'm also, I'll be also be defining it a few places. If I just search for function tool, it should give us a few things. So we have function tool right here and we have function tool right here. So I'm saying that always remember that you have to use function tool to finalize the booking. Now this particular function is very important for us as well. Now let's, uh, since we have the prompt ready, let's try to create this particular function. Great, uh, uh, we have everything right here. We have the transcriber, we can check, uh, we don't need this. We have the voice configuration, so you can change the voices if you want to. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, later we have tools. So here I have to select a tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create new tool. And as soon as that is here, I'm going to click on create tool, click on function. And uh, that should define a tool. I should call this, uh, I should be able to rename it. Yeah, I can call this function tool two. And I'm going to simply say trigger to book events of the user of the guest. 
Great, so I've given out a very basic description. Now next part is going to be calling this server URL. So I'm calling, uh, I have this particular and workflow. I, you can see that we have this, uh, if I just zoom in, you can see that we have this particular test URL. I'm gonna copy this test URL and simply add it to the server URL and nothing else. So my function here is defined. I'm gonna click on save. Everything is done. Now let's go to assistant to complete out if there are anything left. So we have given the prompt, we have given the first message, we have defined the tool. I think most of the part is done. Um, now let's come on to edit and workflow. I'm not going to waste your time to create this entire edit and workflow again. So what you can do is you can go to my discord community and you can get the workflow right there. You'll find the link to this entire automation there. Uh, also the entire discord community is focused on connecting businesses and developers. So if you are a developer who is looking for any questions, you can go and ask ask it there if you're a business owner who wants to hire any edit and developer you can go to the discord community and you can hire edit and developers right there as well great let's move on so this now to explain this particular uh, now to explain this workflow uh, we have webhook which is being called and which is getting the entire transcript then we have the split out and aggregate method which is simply combining everything into one single node in fact so uh, this aggregate method is then combining everything into one single text prompt. So you can see, we, so you can see that we are getting a response called message where we have the entire transcript in one single string. Cool. Now this AI agent is the main part. You can see that we have a very detailed system prompt and I'll go through the prompt right now. So it simply says you have to use this particular tool to check the time and availability. The time is going to be provided in IST uh, and you should proceed without converting it to any other time zone. Uh, it is simply saying that uh, you have to respond in these two manners. If it is unavailable, you can respond in this manner. If it is available, you can respond in the above manner. We are giving out the current time and we are explaining how the reservation time is particular working. We are also explaining that we have these two tools in this particular uh, entire prompt. So you can see that the reservation time is in this. Uh, great. So in this entire prompt, we are defining everything about the entire agent as well as all the tools. Moving on to the next part where we are connecting these tools. So you can see that we have check availability calendar we, where we are simply getting the availability at that particular time. So you can see I'm simply sending the start time and the end time. If I'm available at that time, I can simply say true. If I'm not, I'm simply going to say respond false. If, if, if it returns true, then we are good to go to create an event. It will create an event on my Google calendar. You can see that we have my email ID here and we are simply setting the start and end time to 30 hours difference and I'm simply and I'm also creating a summary as well as a description great so we have it from here now uh, after we are done with everything I'm responding to the webhook so that we are getting the data on the voice AI agent so this was the entire process of building this particular voice agent we can obviously refine it to use a lot of different methods and uh, which of which of course depends on your business use case so uh, if you want a voice agent that is running 24 7 uh, without no without any stops and it is generating and qualifying all the leads creating appointments 24 7 check out this voice ai agent and if you want it for your particular business go ahead and contact me or my agency or my discord community everyone is going to help you out just click on the discord community go there ask your questions and everyone is going to help you out there all right so if this particular voice agent was helpful to you please click on like as well as subscribe button uh, and if you have any doubts feel free to drop a comment and I'll be happy to respond to those comments as well. All right, I'll see you in the next one.